the Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis. And we're going to learn how to capture them during the upcoming solar maximum. So let's get started. The Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis, are a stunning natural phenomenon that occurs when solar particles interact with the Earth's atmosphere. This magical display of light is most visible during solar maximum, which is set to occur right now in 2024 and 2025. So mark your calendars and get ready for an unforgettable experience. Now, let's talk about the best places to find and photograph the Northern Lights. The Arctic Circle, specifically in Scandinavia, one of my favorite places, is a top destination for Northern Lights enthusiasts. However, if you're not able to make it that far north, don't worry. The Northern Lights can also be seen in other parts of the world, such as the Canadian Arctic, Iceland, and Alaska. When it comes to photographing the Northern Lights, it's important to set your camera correctly. First, set your camera to manual mode, and then adjust your ISO, your aperture, and your shutter speed. For your ISO, my recommendation is start at 800 and then work your way up to 3200 or even 6400 if needed. Next, set your aperture to around mm, an f-stop of 2.8 to up to maybe a 4, an f-stop of 4, depending on the focal length of your lens. Finally, set your shutter speed to around 10 seconds. My personal lens that I use for shooting my Aurora is an f 1.8 and a millimeter length of 14. Now I use a Sigma Arts lens, but anything that's super wide and has a very nice wide open aperture would be ideal for shooting the Northern Lights. Now let's talk about the gear you'll need to capture the stunning lights beyond just the lens. Obviously, a wide angle lens with a focal length of a 14 millimeter to 24 millimeter is ideal for capturing that entire beautiful night sky. Additionally, a sturdy tripod is a must to keep your camera steady and prevent blurry images. And don't forget to bring extra batteries as you'll likely be shooting for hours. The Arctic and any cold temperatures will also drain those batteries very quickly. So what causes the northern lights to appear in different colors? The most common color is green, which is caused by oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. And by the way, that's the most common color that most of us see and photograph. Red is caused by high altitude oxygen, while blue is created by nitrogen. I would probably say blues and really white is one of the most rare colors. When the lights appear purple, it is a sign of solar flares, and those come often with more solar storms. Finally, let's talk about the upcoming solar maximum, the one happening right now in 2024 and going into 2025. This is the best time to see the northern lights, as the sun will be at its most active, resulting in more solar particles being released into space. So mark your calendars and get ready for an unforgettable experience this coming year. And that's probably going to be the best viewing experience you're going to have for the next decade because the solar maximum occurs once every 10 to 11 years, marking the most active period that we will have in the sun's activity. So anybody wanting to see this, the northern lights needs to go out and start looking right now. This is going to be the highest frequency and the most vivid and the most beautiful auroras and the most active time of any year. This year going into mid next year. So happy shooting everybody and I hope you found this information helpful and inspiring. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and happy sky gazing. And also in future videos, I will be having a video specifically for cell phones, smartphones, and GoPro users so that you also can captivate and capture those beautiful northern lights that we all love so much. Thank you. Have a great, wonderful day.